and I'm going to let you go. All right. All right. So uh, welcome to the MacDAC Engineering Mastercam 2021 rollout. Hello, my name is Bruce Galay, and I'm the Mastercam trainer at MacDAC Engineering. Uh, I've been working at MacDAC for five years now. Previous, I was working at an aerospace shop running CNC mills and horizontal machining centers. Uh, I also worked at a job shop where we ran mills, CNC mills, and lathes, uh, and just milling typical you know, job setup uh, type parts. Also, I'd like to mention, uh, we offer a full line of training classes to cover your MasterCam requirements here at MacDAC Engineering, such as MasterCam Mill 2D, Mill 3D, Multi-Axis, Lathe, uh, Mill Turn, and Wire. We also offer MasterCam for SOLIDWORKS classes, Mill 2D, Mill 3D, and Lathe. One of our new training features at MacDAC Engineering, we are beginning to offer virtual classes for your convenience. Virtual classes allow students to stay abreast of their MasterCam education without the need to travel. Please view MacDACEngineering.com for a current schedule of training classes as we begin to implement uh, virtual classes as we progress here. MacDAC Engineering also offers Accelerant. Uh, Accelerant is a real-time machine data and communications platform designed to connect and integrate your whole manufacturing process. We also offer CATIA for your CAD needs. All right, so turning. So let's get into the PowerPoint, the turning enhancements. So listed below are major enhancements made to the lathe and mill turn products. Machining custom thread forms. Mastercam 2020 introduces the new lathe custom thread toolpath to support custom thread forms. Over to the right in the general lathe selection or mill turn, turn selection, you will see uh, next to prime turning uh, custom thread icon. Once you select that, it'll bring you into the new toolpath. The new toolpath also takes advantage of Mastercam's next generation panel interface to simplify and streamline your programming workflow. You can select change geometry to represent the thread cross section, or you can select one of the four parametric definitions. So you have a rope style uh, toolpath, buttress, square, or trapezoidal. Parametric definitions let you define the profile by entering dimensions directly in a properties grid and limiting the need to change geometry. So here I'm displaying the new tool panel. Uh, so once you're in the custom thread menu, uh, you can select uh, to extend the panel and now it gives you the actual callouts like tool, machine, operation, shape. So you know exactly the panel that you're working in and exactly what you are offsetting. Mastercam lets you define roughing and finishing passes with separate cutting parameters. The new custom thread module also supports Mastercam's other advanced threading and toolpath features such as multi-start threads, tool inspection, IDOD threads, allowance for mating parts, and cross centerline turning. You can even name and save custom thread forms so you can easily retrieve and reuse them in future operations. All right, so here's a video. Um, we're gonna extend the tool path here. We're gonna go into parameters just to display the new panel. I'm gonna go ahead up here in a second, I'll extend it. And then once again, to recover, uh, cover the same uh, display tool machine operation. Here you can select the tool machine X combination, shape parametric or chain. In this case, we're gonna select parametric. And that allows me to grab my standard style of rope or any of the other three toolpaths mentioned earlier. Thread start position, end positions. Multi-start, in this case we'll do two. And then stock clearance. Click the preview button. And it gives you a preview of the rope wireframe geometry that was created 
from parametric after I did my major diameter settings, pitch, so on, et cetera. Just on the other three uh, parametric style toolpaths, or style of thread, I should say. And so I just use the parametric style thread just to show you that you can go ahead and select uh, your own custom chain geometry um, instead of actually doing parametric. Here I go ahead and select it. Accept it. And we'll go into verify. And that's a, a representation of what rope would look like um, after we would verify it. Work holding component enhancements. Support for collets and collet chucks. Mastercam Milturn now supports collet chucks and collets as individual component types. This greatly expands the range of machines that can be directly supported by Milturn. The picture below shows an example of the new components. Collets and chucks are fully supported by machine simulation. They can be modeled either parametrically or you can choose a solid model of the component, for example, like a step file. This functionality is available to all Milturn users, not just machine developers. Use Mastercam's component library to create collets and collet chucks and organize them in libraries with your other chucks and chuck jaws. Then once you load your machine in Mastercam, simply select the desired component as part of Milturn's job setup. So here we're representing, once you get into your Milturn component library, you would right click on your chuck group. You would have to select here, collet chuck group and collet group in order for it to populate the component window. So you now you can have the ability to select collets and chucks. After you load your machine in Mastercam, use the machine configuration page and job setup to mount a collet chuck and collet on your machine. If chuck and jaws are already mounted by default, remove them before selecting a collet chuck and collet. It's a very good, important um, call out. Uh, Otherwise, if you don't remove the work uh, holding component, you won't be able to insert your collet chuck or select your collet chuck. So once I do remove my work holding, it becomes empty on the left spindle, I can now right click, select my solid royal collet chuck. Here's a video representing what we just discussed. So in this case, on the left uh, spindle, <clears throat> I'm going to bring in a chuck in JAWS that was already a uh, preset step file. Right spindle, I'm going to remove it. And then now I'm going to right click and add the chuck. Uh, the, yeah, they call it chuck and call it. This is the standard Milturn setup page. So if you've ever used Milturn or have not, so now I'm in the machine properties and I just did the quick setup here to, in order to be able to toolpath and then show you in simulation the actual chuck jaw that was brought in and my collets on the sub spindle. Okay, I'll give it a go. So left side, you'll see the boundary of the chuck. Right side, you see the collet boundary. Do a quick toolpath here. And then we'll do a pick off cutoff. And then we'll go into simulation. G1 allows us to get into the sync manager inside of Milturn. Okay, so once we're in the sync manager, I'm just going to sync the turret. That gives a weight code. 
And then we'll go ahead and save it and simulate. Launch allows me to simulate and brings this into the simulation. I'm going to turn off the machine housing so you can actually see the chuck. So there's the chuck brought in by a step file and our collet and collet chuck on our sub spindle. I'm going to run the simulation. And then the cutoff. So now you have real world representation of your actual machine components. Improved modeling for chucks and jaws. Mastercam 2020 expands the support for modeling chucks and chuck jaws. You can define chuck and chuck jaws by selecting a solid model. Additionally, Mastercam 2020 introduced the ability to find a chuck with a chain profile. This functionality has been extended to include chuck jaws. This functionality is available to both lathe and mill turn users. Mastercam lathe uses the associated geometry to generate the component boundaries for chucks and jaws. Mastercam mill turns machine simulation collision detection functionally so fully support the new geometry options as you just seen previously in the video. Down below, uh, I put in the chuck jaws representation. So if you're in lathe, for example, you go to chuck jaws, click the word properties, and that kicks you into your uh, selection panel. When you select a solid model, new function panels will let you align and reposition the model. This means that you, the component model does not need to be drawn in a specific orientation or location. Select align components on the geometry page. The new align call it chuck function panel displays. So I pointed out with the arrow, um, once you do select solid entity, you have your um, component. You can collect, select these different uh, icons. For example, I'm clicking the middle icon to align my component. Once I do that, uh, you can make the necessary changes as part of the component definition workflow. For example, in this picture, the model is rotated six degrees around the Z axis after it has been selected. So I can rotate, I can also align the center line uh, for my component. You can select a solid model from an external file or a level in your part. Additional controls let you optimize or repair the model, or return to the line function panel to make changes. These new buttons are on the geometry tab. So once again, I showed the geometry tab, I select solid entities, and then I'll have my panel that I can access. Right click on the window to roto rotate the component or view it from different angles. Use the translucency slider to see details on hidden faces of the component. So that allows me to move the component, in this case, the chuck jaws. I can slide the slider more translucent, and that just allows me to see more translucent through the, the uh, jaw itself. Or in this case, I can just leave it on solid, and I'll just have a clear solid uh, representation without transparent. The enhanced preview is also available for the components that are defined parametrically or with chain geometry. Mastercam highlights the dimension or field that you're working on. So in this case where it says minimum radius, I'm in that field. And when I activate that field or I'm in that selection process, it shows a red circle for the call out. So depending on which field I'm in, sweep angle or wedge offset, for example, I'll get a red call out and it shows me exactly when I'm offsetting. The channel depth for chucks is previewed accurately uh, with the preview here as well. Additional options are available for specific components. For example, you can display the collet, its 2D boundary, or both. So in the preview, uh, there's an option like display collet. If I have that selected, I'll have my uh, solid component. Or I can display boundary and I can turn my solid more translucent by moving the slider and I can actually see the boundary uh, wireframe representation uh, display. So I have both, I can use both or uh, isolate. All right, so we're back in the mill turn and we're gonna select a component. And I did cover this a little bit in previous videos, so this is where I'm going to select Collet Chuck Group. 
allows me to access the Call It Chuck group. I'm going to add a Chuck. I'm going to rename it. And I'll select Solid Entity. I'll go ahead and select a step file from my desktop. of that chuck and here's my step file. Then it's shown X axis location, so I'm aligning it about the X on my jaws. New you can do the isometric. I'm just holding my center mouse wheel down and I'm rotating uh, the chuck itself just to get a better view, isometric view. You can also right click in that panel and you have different view selections. 3D tooling enhancements. Improving machine connection planes for holder designer. The following improvements have made, been made to the hold designer, holder designer. The reselect location button has been added to reposition the machine connected plane center. The selected name plane button has been added to choose a name plane for the machine connection plane. So I put a boundary around the callouts. I go ahead and select my callout uh, the far right. Uh, icon button and it gives me a plane selection so now I can locate my tool in the top view or any view that I uh, depending on the machine location of the tool in the turret. Adjusting a 3D tools compensation point to help create an accurate 3D tool definition with manufacturer provided models of varying quality and accuracy you can now make fine adjustments to the tools compensation point. Click the fine adjustment point on the compensation page to enter the function. The tool solid model disappears and the dynamic gnomon displays at the origin. You can now, uh, you can then choose to move the geometry or reposition the, the gnomon. So I click the, the button, my icon, and it allows me with the gnomon to either move it left to right or on Y up and down to align my uh, insert compensation point. Creating inserts with multiple definitions. Inserts in 3D tools can now support multiple definitions, which let you create versions of an insert with differing co compensation methods. Second corner definitions, cut patterns, and so on. On the insert page of the tool designer, right click in the insert list and choose new cutting definition. From the pop-up menu, MassCam now uh, then displays the inserts page, which, can, which contains a group of options for defining an insert definition. So uh, you can right click and you'll get this definition or you can click uh, the icon which I circled and it basically it's just a second way uh, of getting to the new cut definition. Once I select that I can go out in the three circles on the insert are showing different location I had selected and it'll create individual um, uh, de cutting definition locations which then in the details you'll see the three separate, and then you can call those out individually when you need to. Uh, the details also give you a general um, overview uh, of what quadrant you, are, quadrant you may be working in on the insert. In this case, it was the fourth. Creating 3D tools with multiple inserts. Mastercam's 3D tools now support multiple inserts with this new functionality located on the insert page of the tool designer panel. You define multiple inserts, much as you did with single insert models. Right click in the insert list and choose new insert from the pop-up menu. MassCam then displays the insert page where you define the new insert like you did with previous 3D tools. Each insert you define is added to the insert list. As in you can see uh, with this model, multiple inserts, and I just add them to the list and I'm ready for to uh, set my tool up further uh, for compensation and such. Improved visual feedback for adjusting boundaries. When adjusting the tool boundary in the boundary page of the tool designer, MassCam now displays the location of the adjusted plane as a translucent rectangle. So once I go ahead and define my boundary, which creates the tool uh, boundary uh, definition, I can, if I choose to move it, I can go into boundary and the panels will pop up as you're seeing the translucent. And I can move my boundary up and down, but it shows me the actual location as I'm moving it. Adding 3D tool information to setup sheet. 3D tool information has been added to setup sheet. The image and tags that have been added include 3D images for tools, holders, and inserts. Images for multiple inserts on a tool, machine tool locator name, machine tool locator station, 
uh, name, the insert name. So to the right, I just showed a quick representation. I created this boring bar uh, and I just did my setup sheet and it gives you the callouts. Mill turn simulation with MassCam simulator. For MassCam 2021, mill turn simulation has been added to the MassCam simulator interface. You can experience mill turn simulation with the same interface tools as MasterCam simulator. So if you're familiar with MasterCam, uh, verify, for example, uh, this should be very intuitive to you. The new interface includes an easier to use and more intuitive machine access controller. So here is your access controller so I can switch and I can move my turn. So just by switching my dials, uh, right spindle, left spindle. If I activate my right spindle, I can grab onto the jog and move it just like you're at the, at the machine control. The newly designed move list allows you to see multiple streams of data at one time, as well as the status of every axis at each position in the toolpath sequence. So in the move list in mill turn, you'll have your upper turn and lower turn depending on if your machine has uh, that capability. Now, if you just have an upper turn, you will not get obviously the lower turn call out. Um, but what this allows you to do is see each movement. So when you hit the simulation play button, it'll uh, start walking through this move list. You'll be able to see the approach, uh, your motion retract um, in real time as you're watching the simulation as well. This is a, uh, Let's see if I can back up. Sorry about that. Oh, I'm going to skip over that. So I was going to show the machine simulation here, um, but in this case, actually, let me hit the play button, see if that works for us. Yeah, here we go. So left spindle, <clears throat> and I can jog. So just to show you a quick representation of that. I put it on X, move the turret. This will spin the turret. Then I put it on C and this will spin the uh, spindle, left spindle. Here I'll move to right spindle, C, move it on, and I can move my right spindle. So that's what the jog function inside a mill turn simulator will do. Familiar tools for stock comparison, stock clipping and measuring are all available in MasterCam simulator now. So this is just a representation, like I said, with verify. Now you have this uh, selection inside of your uh, MasterCam simulation. Lay solid chaining enhancements. Using a spun profile for chaining, previously laid solid chaining, use a slice profile of chaining. This was problematic when the profile of the part was not cylindrical. MasterCam 2021, lathe chain now uses a spin profile, which creates profile geometry by virtually spinning the geometry about the selected axis and ger generating a close approximation of the actual profile. This results in a more accurate profile without the need to add temporary geometry. So they just updated your turn profile um, algorithm. Dynamically adjust the start and endpoints of chains. Lathe solid chain now includes the dynamic option that is available in standard solid chaining. Use dynamic to move the start or endpoint of a selected chain to any position along an edge. So I call out my dynamic icon there, and it allows me to start and change my either my start and endpoint, or in this case, I just move my endpoint. This is just a quick video of that of, of demonstration of that, the dynamic. So just click, move my endpoint, click, I'll go back to dynamic, select my start point, my arrow, and I just chose to end it there or start and end there. Improved support for Swiss machines with a pickoff cutoff toolpath. MasterCam's pickoff cutoff toolpath has been enhanced to work better with Swiss style lathes. The toolpath now works in two different modes. Lathe, modes, lathe mode, which is similar to the way that it has always worked, or Swiss mode, which is triggered by a switch in the post. The new Swiss mode introduces the following differences. On the setup tab for the pickoff cutoff toolpath, MasterCam uses a different method to calculate the X coordinate of the cutoff move. When you click from stock, MasterCam adds the tool clearance distance from the machine group properties dialog box to the stock dimension. This ensures that you will not get a collision warning when you pre positioning the cutoff tool. For pre positioning the cutoff tool, a new button named Cutoff X has been added to the Operations tab. 
By selecting this button, the cutoff X coordinate value copies to the preposition page. This ensures that the cutoff tool will be prepositioned at the proper point to begin the cutoff operation. In addition, the minimum X value for the preposition point has been reduced from the top of, top of the chuck to zero. And then I'm just calling out the actual cutoff X point. You click that and it pre-populates for you. In lathe mode, X tangent point is interpreted as an absolute value. In Swiss mode, MassCam calculates the X tangent point value from the stock model. The X po tangent point value from the cutoff parameters tab is instead added to the calculated value as an adjustment. Creating router operations with MasterCam lathe. Lathe users who also have a router license are now able to access routers milling operations without owning a separate mill license. So once again, if you do have router, uh, you have the capability to use those milling router tool paths inside of Lathe. All right, for general inquiries regar regarding sales, training classes, tech support, uh, please contact MacDAC Engineering. 860-749-5544. Okay, any questions? We had a question here, Bruce, on the side here. Uh, no, really just Roger saying hello. So we're good, Roger. Okay. Hello to hello. you too. Um, <laughs> Anyone else have any questions? You get a raise hand button or you can put a question in the Q&A box and uh, we can take a stab at it. Yeah, certainly. Absolutely. If you come up with any questions later, again, you can email um, email me, Dave M at MacDAC.com or Bruce, and he's Bruce G at MacDAC.com. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> or support, support at MacDAC.com, and uh, we can help you out. And I'm saving a uh, recording of this. So um, we'll get it up on our YouTube channel, and you'll see that in a follow-up email that we do uh, a little later there. All right. Uh, um, there's, no one has any questions. I'm going to uh, stop the recording and get ready to end the seminar here. So let's uh, let's.